Hello. Today I'm playing around with my Raspberry Pi directly with Eisenbus, but uh, in addition to what was earlier done, I have now integrated the Raspberry Pi to a certain kind of uh, 8088 emulator, which can now uh, kind of half emulate. It emulates the CPU, but uh, the CPU talks to the devices in the bus, so in this case I have the here PGA adapter ET4000, which is one of the fastest ISAS cards, although in this configuration it's only 8-bit card, so it's getting maybe through half of what it would normally get. And then I have a homemade uh, Adlib clone there, and the idea is to, to benchmark first how much I can get push data to the VGA card, and then uh, uh, try the emulation a little bit. So I wrote this program which basically just dumps stuff to the VGA card, and it seems to be that we are approaching Three megabytes per second, roughly, or well, a little bit lower, maybe. But that's pretty good for 8-bit isobus. Maybe it cannot actually be sustained, but in this experiment, it does seem to be giving something like that. And I'm also not seeing any particular garbage on the screen, so maybe it's fine. Let's see. Because my emulator, it's a bit nasty code, so that's not gonna be so fast, but it should work for some. I think maybe optimize it quite a bit. So I was unable to get the video bias to run successfully, so I'm running my own video bias, but the game should still utilize the Part the normal way. This is a little bit funny because uh, the text mode, due to lack of working video bias, I'm just outputting the text uh, on the screen, the, the Raspberry Pi screen basically. But I can, uh, if I go to start the program, like Prince of Persia for example, it's running its data to the VGA card. And also the data to oddly be running to the real hardware. The keyboard is of course connected to the Raspberry Pi, so this kind of weird hybrid of a couple of ISA real ISA hardware and then the CPU being emulated by the Raspberry Pi. And the keyboard being emulated by the Raspberry Pi, and also the chipset in some sense. By chipset, now I basically mean the interrupt controller and uh, interval timer. In principle, you could, I suppose, put almost any hardware on the device and bus, and it would work fine. Although, in this case, I'm only running IO and data to Raspberry Pi because there's not enough pins for IRQ and DMA, but well, Adlib and VGA doesn't really use IRQ and DMA, so that works pretty well. Of course, if you add Add the FPGA, you can easily add the IRQ and DMA to this mechanism as well. So this is all the Raspberry Pi 3. 
there is um, the supporting PCB from Raspberry by the way, as a bus. It contains only single chip, no other components basically. Well, there is a pull down, a pull up resistor for the ready signal, but the chip that is in on the PCB is uh, latch because uh, it divides what it has uh, 20 address lines and uh, 8 data lines and then 4 pins for the uh, control so Raspberry Pi only has 28 pins so I need to do latching for the higher order bits of the address but that's, that's pretty much all there is interesting well, demo effect okay also my BIOS is quite homemade custom there's no, no original code so um, a little bit finicky at this point, but stuff is still working. scrolling quite okay